<laughs> Hello, welcome to the Bottled Imp, and today this is one of our Imp Thinks, well, Imp Chats, Imp Thinks, what are we going to call it? No idea, <laughs> Imp Thinks. This is where we actually watch a film, um, and then we react to it, and you get an instant reaction, whether we liked it or whether we didn't like it. And we've already done one, so you can check back and look at that one. That was The Season of the Witch. And we did call it Imp Chat in the end, although in the video, well, we won't spoil it, but um, yeah. yeah. we still It's yet, yet to be decided, but yeah. maybe Imp Thinks. Maybe Imp Thinks, or maybe you could come up with a better name and to sum up us watching a film, a fancy film, and then reacting to it. Mm. So we would like the word Imp in the title. So if you do think short of something... Short snappy. Yeah, short snappy. References, film watching and reviewing it. Yeah. Maybe. So, thinks, watching... <coughs> So there we go, Imp Thinks, and uh, oh yeah, of course this is Julian, he is the producer of The Bottled Imp. Okay, so today's episode of Imp Thinks um, is quite cool. I have no idea, no idea what this film is actually going to be. Um, I don't know the title, I know nothing about it. Julian wanted to keep it a surprise. So Julian, let us know. Okay, so I videoed this. This was on telly a few weeks ago, and I think it was on quite late at night at some strange channel okay. late at night, and I thought, oh, Ken will like this film, just judging it by the title alone. I don't know what it's about. I didn't look at the info button to see what it's about. I don't know anything about it either. <laughs> Great. I, I, I kind of figured it would be some terrible old B-movie piece of rubbish or some terrible churned-out movie Good. with cheap special effects. It may well be. But I have now looked it up on Internet Movie Database, and it, in fact, was made... In 2007. Uh, not too bad. So too much bad. newer, much more recent than I expected. Yeah. Therefore, special effects are probably going to be, if there are any special effects in it, uh, are going to be better than expected. A little disappointed. I was hoping it was going to be <laughs> something old and terrible. Might still be terrible. Okay. Okay, it's basically called, now let's see, have you seen this before? I don't know. Let's it's find called it. Dragon Wars. Oh, I haven't. No. Heard of it? No. Ah. D Dragon Wars? Dragon Wars, 2007. 2007? I won't read too much of this because we'll watch no. it and we'll talk about it afterwards. But it's, uh, I don't even remember it kind of being out. I, I would don't... imagine it came out and didn't get a cinema release in this country maybe. Or maybe it did. We'll find out some information about it. Yeah. Remember, they make lots and lots of films all the time that don't even come over to England. I've been in or don't even <laughs> stay at the cinema for more than a week or two. Exactly. So... Who knows what it'd be like. <laughs> Dragon Wars. I'm excited by that, though. Because two things. One, it's got the... Dragons. Exactly. Yeah. And wars. Which, so that's yeah. Dragon... Well, I'm not a big fan, obviously, in real life wars. But, but fantasy wars are brilliant. Right. So Dragon Wars. Well, so... <laughs> let's find I out. I wonder what the imp thinks of this Oh, film. clever. You see what we've done there? Oh, yes. We'll be back on the other side. <laughs> SF의 시작. 진흥래 감독 작품. 've now just watched um, what was it called Dragon Dragon Wars or D Wars subtitle Dragon Wars I know but that's the least that we want to talk about that's, really that's about this the least movie. Of it. <laughs> yeah yeah that's the least of it so what, what do what we, we think what does imp thinks what does imp think yeah okay 
Did, we, did you want to go first again? No, because I went first one. Yeah. It, uh, where do we start with that? At the beginning. Well, shall I give you... Oh, okay, story. so the director... Okay, this, I'm, I'm just on Internet Movie Database, so neither of us knew this film, never heard of it before. No. Thought it was some... As I said at the beginning, thought it was some probably old, terrible film, and then on Internet Movie Database, it kind of looked in 2007. It says it's made in 2007. Um, and... Um, and you know the box cover looks sort of interesting, a little bit sort of you know, oh, yeah. a bit trashy. Yeah, doesn't but, it? Yeah. But it's um, well, it's got a good yeah. title to begin with, Dragon Wars. You kind wow. of, oh, I'm excited by that. It, I don't think it was a theatrical release. I don't. We don't have the facts about this. Maybe no. we should have dug further and got the facts about it. But mm. um, you know, it is a bit of a made for TV. It the, the thing. Okay, if if we're going to go right back to the beginning, uh, title, great title, Dragon Wars. That's good. And I like the way that it opened up. It oh, sets yeah. up quite a mythology. Quite classy title sequence at the beginning. Yeah. Liked all that. I thought, oh, this is actually going to be quite good. I was, my attention was caught. I was quite intrigued by this myth. They started you know, telling us about all this um, ancient myth about these dragons and the dragon spirit and the, the girl that's chosen mm. and all of that. And that was good. And then, <laughs> then it went... Then it went to modern day. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, and, and 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 it just ran out of steam. Yeah, didn't it? it was uh, it, it was it was interesting, wasn't it? it? Had lots of special effects. Yeah, lots of dragons, lots of lots of special effects and stuff. Oh, but well. these days, special effects, it's funny, isn't it? Because they presumably cost a lot of money. The special effects, there's yeah. lots of them. They weren't. They weren't. If, if bad. it was, if it was, some years ago. Yeah. You would have gone wow, but actually, by, we're so spoiled. I was saying we're so spoiled by really good special effects now. Yeah, even these, which are pretty impressive. You know, it looked a little bit cheap, didn't they? They just weren't well executed, some of them. It, it was hit and miss. It was the yeah. consistency of it for the special effects. Yeah. That, for me, um, I, I like the way those special effects were introduced because they were subtle to begin with and it seemed like it wasn't going to just be all about the special effects. Yeah. But ultimately, yeah, that's what the film relied on. And they looked much better at the end, the beginning yeah. sequences. That's where they obviously the, put their money in the special effects yeah, at the end. That the, was the main good. dragon... Well, you, was it a was dragon, a dragon though? They were more serpents. They even so, said in the myth, mythos, basically, that they were serpents. This, uh, this, okay, the director, uh, whose name in true bottled imp style will be <laughs> yeah. mispronounced. Yeah, Hyung Re Shim. Yeah, no, I think okay. you're spot on with that. Okay, um, yeah. so he's basically a producer and director, and is uh, is to this day one of the most popular comedians on Korean television. <laughs> So he's obviously a big guy. This is this obviously yeah. cost a fair bit of money. Yeah. Um, I do think it was probably made. Well, it was probably not made for TV, but I don't think it, it might have had a theatrical release. Or something had lots of well. I recognise lots of American actors in it. Yeah. That you just see in TV programmes. Yes. You see popping up recognisable faces. Um, okay. Since embarking in the movie industry, he has been involved in the uh, output of nearly a hundred movie productions, whether as screenwriter, developer, director, actor, producer, or executive producer. Um, though still relatively unknown in the United States, Hung Re Shim has been mm. selected by Asia Week magazine as one of Asia's most influential leaders in computer technology of the 21st century. I'll carry on. One Not more sentence. Not quite sure what that means. For the advances he has made in science fiction filmmaking, the government of okay. Korea recognises Shim as one of the most vital Korean mm. thinkers of our time. Okay, now... We don't want to be offensive to anyone no. or to Koreans or anything no, like that. Not. But we've just watched this film. So coming out of the statement like that, and this is the That's guy who produced praise. and wrote it and directed it. Yeah. One thing in makes their a question. But one thing in their defence, though, we're 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 judging one film out of a whole a hundred films, was it? Or hundred? He's been involved. Yeah, been involved. So so it's it's difficult. We can't necessarily say where this is in his career. But the thing is, it was just really written badly. Yes. It was made... We must point out first, we watched this film. I recorded this off Movie Mix, which is a channel in the UK on Freeview somewhere up yeah. in the high numbers. Yeah. And they just sort of show films yes. that they obviously buy for about £10. <laughs> Yeah. And they just show them sort of all, all all night or whatever. So it was really edited really weirdly, and you'd suddenly get a point where you suddenly go, "Hang on, why has the protagonist ended up in hospital? We didn't yeah, see her get we, hurt or anything. Why yeah. is she suddenly?" And so this Strange could be movie mix jump. editing it for TV. Could be, or 
Oh, I don't know. We should have. We should. Well, but, we shouldn't. Well, but we should watch it on DVD when yeah, we get the actual we version. It might be edited for TV very badly by Movie Mix. So it could we'll... be, but there was one bit where it did just didn't make sense. A lot of it plot. didn't make sense. The Th- that wasn't sense. that. I don't think they would have just edited. I think the way that they would edit it is when they go to the ad break. Yes, then then just miss off half of it. Like you said, the rest yeah. of the film was playing while the advert. I don't know that how they edit things for TV. Yeah. Maybe they do just go, okay, we've got this film in, we we'll just chop this but, up. And but but that, in a way, was the least of its problems. The the, the main it wasn't problem, written well. It wasn't written well. The, the the plot, it was a shame. It had a, a good premise to it. There's this, you know, there, there's this dragon that that needed the the spirit soul of this woman, and good and evil dragons were fighting over this spirit. That was what I got out of that. Right. My big problem was it was a story within a story within a story. So you have this setup with the myth. So it's all ancient uh, Asia, and it, you know, and it's good. And I'm liking that environment. And they set it up with, uh, you know, fighting warriors, and and there's a good, there's a good sort of I was going to say medieval feel to it. So that's good. Um, but then it's all told and in, t- told as a story. But not only that, it opens up. In modern day, is that right? No, it goes ancient, then modern day, and we cut to a reporter guy. There's been some sort of incident, some sort of bomb explosion. We're not quite sure what that was. There's some sort of impact in the ground. The reporter then finds, you know, happens to see some sort of dragon scale. They don't know it's a dragon scale, but some sort of thing that he recognises. Must have missed all of that. (laughs) Well, he (laughs) recognises. More attention. (laughs) <laughs> fall asleep. He yeah. recognised it, and then he had a flashback to when he went. Oh, why? Why do I recognise that? And then, so then we were in his childhood. That's when he goes to Jack's antiques. Yeah. And then the antique Jack um, tells him then about a story of the, and it carries on the myth, the mythos. It carries on the legend. So you had, you had, you had the the ancient story. You had the present day when the reporter's in his sort of mid-twenties, plus you had the story about when the reporter was in his... as a boy. So there was lots of framing that you that I, I felt distant to it. What, yeah. I, what ultimately yeah. what I wanted, what I, what I really found fascinated was the Asia culture and the dragon culture. I just wanted the whole film to be like that. Right. Well, you see, I kind of like... I mean, yeah, that... I kind of like things set in modern day as well. I think taking that and bringing it yeah. modern days, or for an action, a rubbishy action movie, which we knew this was kind of going to be, or I, you know, I think I, I suspected it was going to be. <laughs> but um, you know, set in modern days, but quite, you can still do a quite good interesting action film. That's yeah, the but, thing. Yeah, you can yeah. still yeah, do yeah, that. You can. Good well, hopefully, you can. It's harder and harder. Yeah, but it's, uh, but, it's but again, all about a good script at the end of the day, and it just wasn't a good script, and it and it was a, it wasn't a good idea. It wasn't a great concept for a story, I don't think. And then it was just written. Mm. Sort of chopped together. It might have been a good concept for story. I don't know. I'm so I'm so blinded by this. The whole sort of dodgily filmed, sort of yeah. dodgily edited, cutting from one scene to and, another, and missing bits. And out. the plot so didn't get, make get, sense. The plot didn't really make sense. And then suddenly <laughs> they're driving off, and then suddenly they're in some mystical land because they've been killed. Yeah. And we, yeah. we won't spoil it for you because you probably want to watch this film. <laughs> yeah. Oh my my favorite bit. I really want to tell my favorite bit. There's a brilliant, and it is quite a good special effect, that where the first time we see the main baddie guy who, who's, who's, who wants to go to Jack's Antiques because it... Well, I won't spoil it, but he, anyway, so he's there. And it's all fenced off, so he just goes through it because he's magic. This magic baddie can just yeah. go through the fence. <laughs> and then just, just after that, because this old lady has seen this guy go through the fence... She tries doing it and bangs her head and goes, oh, oh. But the whole point is, why? That's the best bit of the film. That was my best. It was so funny because she wasn't even trying to get into Jack's antiques. But just because she's seen someone go through a fence, it's a she thinks bit of comedy she comedy business. Could, but yeah. do you know why that was a but good bit? But even that doesn't make logic but sense. That, but that was a good bit of comedy business because... Um, because producer and director Shim oh, yeah, is, to this day, <laughs> one of the most popular comedians in career television. That was his genius, that I little bit there. I think the whole film was structured around that little skit. <laughs> yeah. He had an idea. Man walks through wall, woman tries to walk through wall and bangs her head. That's pretty much classic cartoon yeah. cartoon yeah. Uh, business, isn't it? And I, So now I understand where he starts with that and then we get to Dragons. And then we pad it out a bit because we need a film <laughs> around that. But it just... Th- there was a lot of plot holes. There was, there was this, uh, you know, thing, like really corny bits where... 
Um, I just want to say this bit anyway. All right, it's just a bit of a spoiler, but but like you say, that the hero, i.e., the reporter, what did he do? He he didn't yeah. actually do anything. Well, he brought the brooch with him. He, he was given. He was the chosen one. Well, he was the chosen one who had the brooch. Yeah, but, but actually, chosen... the girl was the chosen one. Yeah, she had to get herself out of this mess. She sort of did or didn't. <laughs> You know, but the guy helping him was the magic guy. He could do stuff and help them. What yeah, did this guy? He drove her around a bit. Yeah. He, oh, he fell in love with her. Oh, and what you did like, he had two nice jumpers in, didn't you? Well, That's there was a, the doctor had a nice jumper. It was like a Pringle, right. like a sort of. Yeah. You know, and I thought, oh, that. And the girl hadn't you liked the girl's I, jumper? Yeah, the girl's jumper I genuinely liked. Number. A little off the shoulder number. Sort of quite white. a chunky jumper with a yeah. chunky collar, but it was sort of yeah. here off the shoulder, yeah. wasn't it? I like that. That's your kind of jumper. <laughs> That's my kind. Of, not necessarily for me, although. Might, might try. We should probably wrap this up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's a shame. For me, it's a shame because I really wanted to, to enjoy it because it did start off well. The first bit in ancient uh, Asia I enjoyed. I thought, OK, well, I'm learning about you know, a new culture and a new, and there's some dragons and, and that's cool. And then from then on in, it just deteriorated into basically I did a really find myself wishing we were films. watching Season of the Witch. <laughs> yeah. I, I did find myself thinking, well, see, I think we, Season of the Witch was sort of entertaining. Which was episode a one. A little bit. Of, of yeah, watch that. You yeah. can click on this thing here and it'll yeah. take you to that. Or that there. <laughs> I'm going to confuse you now. That there? No, no. there won't be anything down there. <laughs> there'll be nothing it'll always there. Be up here. Don't click here. It'll be here. <laughs> yeah. um, it might be on your side, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over there. Anyway. Um, yes. It yeah. was a disappointment. Let's not waste too much. If we do continue this series yeah. of shows, yeah, let's please not waste too much of our lives on crap films. But but that's the nature of it. That that's the nature of the beast, it is, so to speak. Anyway, so ultimately, what did the imp think? Imp thinks it stinks. Hey, there it is. <laughs> this is the we we catchphrase. There. Yeah. It stinks. We it haven't got stink. one. If it's a good film, no, because nothing not rhymes yet. with uh, imp, imp thinks. thinks. It's it, it, groovy. Yeah. I think we're probably going to be all right with that Imp thinks it stinks, because yeah. I think most of the films we've watched probably will stink. Possibly, although we have got another one lined up. We won't spoil what it is, but we have got one lined up. And again, we know the title of it. Well, this time we know the title of it, but we've not done purposely not done any research on Tune it. Tune in next time to yes. see what that film is. Exactly. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously... Subscribe, like the videos, and all of that. Follow us on social media. When he means like the videos, he doesn't mean just watch it and go, "Oh, I like this video." Because oh, that's yeah. up to you. Do he means to that? click the like button. Click the like at button. the bottom. Right uh, but don't, you know, don't click it if you didn't like it. Is it here or here? Um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes. subscribing. Subscribe. Is, 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 Facebook. If you've made it this far to the yeah. end of this program, and obviously check out our normal show. We're well, not a normal show. Our other show. <laughs> this is normal. Is this normal? <laughs> It's a review show, basically fancy films, fancy books and fancy board games um, that come out every Friday. And that's about it really, that's isn't it? Fair. Thanks for watching. Yay. Another <laughs> great film. <laughs>